Pisces. Hi and welcome to your reading. How does this person feel about you? Timeless and general love tarot reading. Sun, Moon and Rising Pisces. I hope you are well, whatever you are in the world, Pisces. We are going to see how this person is feeling, what intentions they have and what are their actions towards you or in this situation uh, in the next three to four weeks. Pisces. Thanks for stopping by. Coral Tree Terror here. Let's see what's coming in for you. How does this person feel about Pisces? does this person feel about Pisces? Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Cups. What a beautiful energy, Pisces. It's a mutual love. I feel you feel this. There is beautiful... Sorry for the lack of focus. Beautiful energy here, Ace of Cups and Two of Cups. It feels really mutual, so I have a feeling uh, you know, you know this, you know how this person feels. Uh, this person knows it clearly too, with this Ace of Swords, they have a clarity. They know your soulmates and they know how they feel about you. They also know um, that you probably also feel the same way. Overwhelming love. Beautiful Ace of Cups here. Very beautiful gift. They are also really attracted to you. They find you um, very confident, driven, uh, really sexy, successful Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with Cancer Scorpio Pisces, we've got cups here, and let's see, very beautiful energy, Pisces, mutual love, this person has eye on you and I feel this person would like to also make it clear how they feel about you, there are two aces here, there's clarity, there is love, what a beautiful energy. Let's see what this person's intentions, Pisces. What are this person's intentions for Pisces? The Temperance. Knight of Swords. The Sun. And Knight of Cups. Well, I feel this person is waiting for the right time to come and tell you uh, with this Knight of Swords. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, um, this may surprise you, it can be out of blue, this Knight of Swords type of um, energy. Very, very uh, rapid, very dynamic energy. They want to tell you, there is Knight of Cups here, it's a beautiful energy, um, bringing love. Um, bringing um, a message of love. They want to make it known. They really want you to know that they love you. They don't want to leave any doubt here. There is this beautiful sun as well. Very beautiful energy. Um... I'm getting um, that this person is really so uplifted with, you know, with finding this love in you um, that the sun is kind of really telling me that it's like a new beginning, new life. I'm just drawn to this boy. Um, it's like... 
This person understands that this is a gift and all the sunflowers, you know, this, this light and blossom and life and opportunity, um, they can't wait to make it known to you. I kind of feel that Sagittarius time uh, which is coming soon. It's the time when I think things will be revealed to you. But it might come sooner. The Knight of Swords is such an um, impatient energy. But I, you know, this is, this is wanting everything with you. The sun. This is wanting life. This is wanting to spend a, a time together, create love, create family. Very beautiful energy. Leo or Sagittarius here as well. Let's see, Pisces. What is this person going to do in the next few weeks? What are this person? Next steps. You're the center of this person universe with the sun. You're the center of, you know, attention. Okay, there's gonna be a little bit of stress here. There's Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, but there is also Magician and Queen of Swords. I feel this person is going to have to work with their thought process and also emotion to kind of see, see everything in a positive uh, way rather than optimistic way rather than um, come from this sort of vibration so the queen of swords here it's kind of making me feel like your pro your person is going to use a lot of uh, you know um, mental energy and they'll be thinking in other words and they'll be thinking and these thoughts may bring that person to five of cups and ten of swords energy meaning being being in a low vibration out of fear that things may may not work out things may end but I feel that this is just a thought process driven by, by fear. We also have magician here. So um, I'm kind of for the first time getting that perhaps your person is going to get an advice from um, either astrologer or tarot reader or energy healer something in these sort of lines and it may kind of throw this person's uh, both emotional state and mental state out of whack this is what i'm getting for the first time because these energies here are so so beautiful so clear and positive there is clarity about love that this person feels for you. There is this clear, um, optimistic intention to focus on that love and make it known and make it known with its knight of cups to you if it hasn't been yet made known 
and then we have these very kind of tricky energies right next to magician so i kind of have this feeling that your person will may engage in accessing sort of um, advice from a tarot reader about how to go about the situation and it's just gonna make your person really I'm not seeing I'm not seeing uh, confusion but I'm seeing like an, a total emotional um, meltdown and but the queen of swords is telling me that you know your person it could be air sign that you're dealing with will have in the end enough clarity and common sense to kind of move out of this uh, five of cups and ten of swords zone that I really feel have got something to do with um, some sort of, you know, energy advice that your person may receive. What an interesting reading, Pisces. I haven't got anything similar with Magician for a long time. I am going to clarify this five of cups and ten of swords together for Pisces. What are these? Queen of Wands. Yes, it is about you. We've got Queen of Wands here twice. Your person sees you as someone really you know, successful, confident, driven, beautiful. Um, and I feel your person is really going to, um, I clarify these two, Five of Cups and Ten of Swords with, with Queen of Wands again. I really feel your person is, um, let's clarify the Magician. Where is the magician? I've got the star here. Um, I am getting, I am getting astrology. I am getting um, advice from a, you know, energy healer or tarot reader. So whatever this person's gonna say, your person's gonna go like, oh. So in the next couple of weeks, your person is going to have to kind of find clarity in regards to the reality and the love that you guys share um, and be kind of really um, clear about any other advice that they receive. Uh, very interesting reading. I haven't had that for a long time. That sort of message. One more for Pisces. You're part of my story. Well, we have two of cups here. This is such a beautiful energy. Um, and, you know, if you put it together with Ace of Cups, this person is um, absolutely head over heels in love with you, Pisces. You are part of them and they are part of you. Desire and yearning. Yes, they do miss you when you're not around. Let's just pull one astrology for Pisces. 11th house community. Yeah, this ties really well with that magician and these energies here. Um, I have a feeling someone <laughs> from your from this person's uh, friend circle is going to give them advice or is going to um, say something that's going to make your person kind of see things in really negative colors. Um, 
and and they will use their common sense. I'm glad to, to see this. This queen of swords here, this person is going to use their common sense, clarity of thought to kind of um, uh, uh, tackle this situation. This is what the oracle is telling me. Um, 11th house in astrology is the house of friends. And um, I'm strongly getting here that the magician I'm really hearing that someone's going, your person's going to get an advice from an astrologer or, you know, a tarot reader about this love connection. And that's just going to throw them, you know, uh, off balance. But luckily, with the Queen of Swords here, the clarity is coming. And you know what? There is sun present in, in your reading, Pisces. This is such a positive energy. Um, I am really confident that even even if your person gets an advice that will kind of um, work against your person and, and, and work against this situation, it's only for a short time. Simply because I can see your person dealing with it with the use of their own common sense. What a reading, Pisces. Um, thank you for your time and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for your time and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.